Hi and welcome everyone. So today we are going to talk about apps. So I made two of them for controlling the Bluetooth uh, turret, the Nerf turret. One for Android devices, which is the one we're going to talk about uh, in this video, and another one for PCs that I will be talking about in the next video. So as you can see, I do not, I do not have a finished turret. So I made this little rig. So here we have the two servos that will uh, move the turrets uh, left to right and up and down. And this one will be the one pushing the darts into the rollers. Um, I do not have uh, any motors uh, connected at the moment, but uh, here I have a little LED, uh, a little LED that will be turning on and off, uh, depending if the, uh, the motors should be turned on and off. And as you can see here blinking, I have the HCO5 Bluetooth module. So how does it work? The first thing to do is to turn the app on. So like this. All right, so this is the application. I tried to make it simple enough so it doesn't need too much uh, explaining. So first thing is to connect our device to the HCO5. So all you need to do is uh, click that little Bluetooth button and then select your HCO5 from the list. All right, so now the button turned blue, so everything is connected. So as you can see here, we have uh, a button to turn the motors uh, on and off. So if I turn it on, the, the uh, little LEDs here turn uh, green. Right, so once the motor are on, you can decide to shoot. So you just have to press the button. So if you just press it once, you can see uh, it's going to push the dart once. But if you uh, hold it open, it's going to basically um, will act like a machine gun. And finally, on the left, we have the control pad. So this is going to control the direction of the turret. So if so, basically, this pad represents the full range of um, uh, the servos. So if you stick your finger on the left, for example, it's going to move the servo to its maximum left position. And if you put, stick it to the right, it's going to go all the way back to the right. So I had basically two options, either uh, do it this way or do, uh, use uh, or use the pad like a joystick. And I choose to do it this way because it allows you to really uh, quickly move the turret from one side to another. Of course, the downside of doing it like this is that you lose a bit of precision. So yeah, it's always a bit of a trade-off. And yeah, basically that's how it works. So I made all of it uh, using the MIT App Inventors. And while well, this video isn't meant to be a tutorial, but I'm going to quickly show you uh, how it works and how to use it. And I think it's a, it's a great tool, especially if you don't have any maybe programming background, you can like straight away make like little funny apps for, for your phone. So yeah, let's see how that works. Okay, so let's create uh, an app. So first thing, uh, just go to the MIT App Inventor website, right, uh, and click Create Apps. So as you can see here, I'm already logged in because I already have an account, you might need to do that. And let's start a new project. So we are going to call that Tutorial and click OK. Right, so as you can see here, we have a screen. So this is a screen your app is going to start on. Uh, you can create as many screens as you want. And the main thing to notice here is on um, the right side, here you have uh, two the two main areas of, of um, that uh, application creator. So the designer, which is what we are seeing now. And this is going to allow you to uh, set up all your user interface, your layouts, um, just put your buttons, text, images, and so on um, onto your screen. And then you will be able to move to the blocks, which is more like the programming aspect of it. So you can give functions to your buttons and um, change text and images and so on. So first, we are going to create a simple uh, application. So we are going to create an application with a button. And whenever this button is going to be pressed, it's going to change a, a text label. 
So here you, you saw that I dropped uh, whatever I needed onto the screen. So that's just that simple. And basically we have uh, a button and a, and a label on uh, the screen. So once you select your button, you can change like many things about it, um, like the size of the text, uh, color of the button, you can assign images, um, change text. So I'm going to change it to, uh, sorry, to uh, click me. Right, and then the label is going to um, have a text that's going to say not clicked yet. So this is a text that's going to be displayed whenever we turn the app on. And now we are going to add the function. So when we click the button, the label uh, text just change. So we are going to move on the block side. So here you will find uh, your, um, well, whatever item you dropped on the screen plus uh, uh, some other function. So whenever you click on uh, one of the item you added on your UI, you will be given like a bunch of options. So here we have a button and you can see at the top we have a, a button one dot click. So we are going to drop that on our uh, canvas. And what that means is whenever we click the button one, uh, this, um, whatever we put in this indent is going to be executed. So what we want to do is to do stuff on our label. So we click on label and then again, we are uh, given like a bunch of options and we are going to uh, change the text. So we are going to set label one text and now we can select um, a new text here. So at the top and we are going to write clicked. And that's it. Uh, we uh, lay out our design and we uh, give a function to our button. So now all we need to do is a build. So I'm going to generate a QR code that's going to allow me to download our application um, uh, with the phone directly. So that's it. I'm going to quickly show you what it looks like uh, looks like on the phone. So I downloaded my uh, app, so I'm going to now install it. And might take a minute. Right, so I can open it. And now we see we are, uh, we have uh, our uh, layout, so with uh, our button click me and our label. So if I press the button, you can see that the label is now changed. And this is it. This is uh, uh, how you can create a very, uh, funny little app uh, very quickly using that uh, MIT App Inventor. So that's it for this video and uh, I hope you learned something and liked it. Bye bye.